Yo, yo guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys want to learn how to make chests and add them into your game and animate them, then this video is perfect for you. But before we get into this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn post notifications on, and let me know what you guys think of the video and what I should upload next in the comments below. And don't forget to like. Let's get into the video. Okay, so first thing first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a basic chest. As an example here, uh, I'm going to... It's going to be very simple. I'm going to just have a bomb part and a top part. And I'm just going to insert these faces here like so. And then press E to extrude and then hold uh, left alt and then S and bring these in like so. And then the top I'm going to insert. And then this is going to be kind of like the, uh, the open part of the chest. So I'm going to just bring this in. Something very simple just to show you guys. Now I can go ahead and make the top part as well. I'm going to bring this down and just bring out these two faces and then I can go ahead add one loop cut down here by pressing ctrl R and then left clicking now I can select these and do that now just so you can tell the difference between the back and the front I'm going to go ahead and add some hinges and a lock I'm going to add some hinges at the back here so something really quick like so and then just a lock like so just something super basic because we're not worried about complexity now once you've done modeling your chest you want to keep it in two different parts so i have the hinges on the bottom part and the lock on the top part because i want the the lock to be connected with the uh, with the top part of the chest okay so once you are satisfied with your chest the next thing you want to do is click add up here and then armature and now you're going to get this bone right here now the first bone you want to have it dead center of the chest here the bottom part touching the bottom of the chest and the top part touching roughly the top of the bottom part of the chest so like here i believe should be centered and then we want to press shift d to duplicate it and then put it at the hinge here and then put it at the dead center here as you can see because this is going to serve as a pivot point so the next thing you want to do is just click these two and just join them and then now they are a joint armature and then what we want to do is click these two shift select them and then shift select this again to make sure it's yellow you want the yellow outline and then press ctrl p and then keep offset so now these two are connected and this this one is the child of this one now as you can see you can tell by this black line here now the next thing you want to do is connect this armature to the chest so what you want to do is select the chest here both pieces and then select the bones make sure the bones are yellow yellow outline and then press ctrl p and then with automatic weights and now that should parent the uh, chest to the bones and if we go up here where it says object mode pose mode and now we move one of these bones it should start moving around the chest now, as you just saw, it's not affecting the chest how we want it to affect it. So what we want to do is we want to click the bones and then click uh, the mesh you want to adjust. So the top part, for example, and then go to weight paint. And now if you shift click this bone, make sure it's it's got a blue outline on it. And then you want to make sure it's only affecting the top part, which it is. And then make sure the weight is a uh, one up here. And then just make sure it goes all red. So just go ahead and increase the radius and just paint it all red. This basically changes uh, how much of the mesh the bone affects. But we don't really want to bend the top part. So we're just going to go ahead and make it fully red. And once the top part is fully red, you can go ahead and go back into object mode up here. And then select your bones again. And then click pose mode. And now if you adjust this bone you'll see it affects it better but it still affects the bottom part of the chest which we need to fix press tab go back into object mode select the bones and then select the bottom part and then select weight paint and then shift click the top bone go weight zero and start painting now dark blue indicates that basically the bone is not going to affect this part at all and basically bright red means it's going to affect it completely and then you have greens and light blues and stuff in between which uh, 
make it like a transition in terms of how much it affects and once that is done you can go back into object mode uh, select this bone and then go pose mode now if we select this bone and rotate you can see it only affects the top part of the chest like so now you have to repeat the same step with the other bone and the bottom part so you'd select the bones and then select the bottom part and then go weight paint and then make sure you shift click the bone which you can shift click through the mesh by the way you can shift click it like this and then go weight one and then we want to make the entire bottom part red and then just to check i'm going to click the bones and then click the top part and then go weight paint and then select the bottom part here as you can see the bottom bone is actually affecting the top as well which we don't want so weight zero and just turn it all blue now if you uh, copy those steps properly you'll have something like this fully functional chest it can open and close and then the bottom part shouldn't affect the top but it should control it completely you can do things like this and now your model is pretty much ready to import i went ahead and textured it real quick just so it looks a little bit nicer but um to export you just want to select it go file export and then fbx and then let's head over into studio and import it okay to import it into studio the first thing you want to do is uh, go into plugins and then avatar importer and then custom and then find your fbx file once you've imported it it should be quite large on the map but as you can see it's got the texture on it and i'm gonna go ahead and scale it down real quick the gradient doesn't look too nice on the chest but whatever that's not the uh, the point of the video uh, now we want to check the animations so to do that you're going to click plugins and then go animation editor and then click it and it should allow you to make a new animation name it whatever click create and now if you click this plus and then add all you should be able to click these bones rotate and now you have a fully functioning chest I'm going to make a quick animation here as an example to show you guys. And as you can see, there you have it. It fully functions, has a nice animation. And now you have a chest ready to go for your game. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope to help you guys out uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.